What's up YouTube? It's me Sarah and today I'm going to be showing you guys how I like to massage my face. I just wanted to show you guys um, you know what I like to do to treat myself. Lately I've been feeling really tired, really exhausted and just in desperate need of a me day and a spa day. So I think that this is just a nice little treat to have and um, just a great way to care for yourself after a really long day. So as you guys can tell I am breaking out. I've been kind of exhausted lately. I think my period's coming honestly so I'm really hormonal, add stress on top of that and you get this basically for me. But um, that's fine. That's why I really wanted to do a video like this just so we can all just relax and just take a break and breathe. I get to just reflect on everything that's been happening lately. Just a nice way to wind down before I go to bed. So the only thing that you need to massage your face is facial oil. So the oil that I like to use is my 100% cold pressed rosehip seed oil, so I can link it down below, but I would recommend an actual facial oil to massage your face with so that your skin can soak up all those nutrients and those benefits of the facial oil rather than just like any kind of massage oil because that could clog your pores and it can make you break out. So just any facial oil that you really like to use. Um, so all I do, I just add just enough to my face so that there's enough to cover my entire face and then also um, some of my neck. So I'm just going to go ahead and drop that down. And then I'm going to add some in my hand to add to my neck. And I just kind of pat that in. Same thing here. If I need a little bit more then I will um, then I would just add just a few more drops or something like that but this seems to be enough for my face. So you want enough oil on your face so there isn't drag when you massage your face. You don't want your skin to feel like it's getting like tugged. You want just enough oil so it glides and it's really soothing and just a nice smooth massage. Okay, so I just added just a little bit more a little bit more to my neck. So I love rosehip seed oil because rosehip seed oil has been proven to reduce signs of aging but when I started using this oil I've noticed that um, my skin feels so soft so supple the next day and it really helps with any hyperpigmentation that you may be having. So this oil is amazing. As you can tell, I haven't started really fully massaging my face yet. I'm just warming up my face by applying these oils to it. And I always bring my, my products down to my neck. Your neck is very prone to aging. So you always want to make sure that you give it some love as well. Okay, so now what I like to do, I just kind of start at the bottom here at the base and just using the ends of my fingers, I just kind of go like this. You can take your thumbs and you can go underneath your jawline and just kind of go like that if you want. You want to aim for going outwards, so you're going to go out. You want to apply enough pressure to where it's firm pressure, but you don't want to go too hard, but you don't want to go too light to where you're not really doing anything either. But facial massaging has so many great benefits. You know, after a long day, especially if you're talking a lot or you're laughing a lot, um, it's just nice to give those muscles a break and relieve any tension that may be occurring. It helps with that uh, lymphatic drainage because we have a ton of lymph nodes in these areas. So when we get sick, you know, you'll feel like, oh, these lymph nodes are swollen. I would always have that happen to me whenever I would get strep throat. And um, it's just nice to help with that drainage. So you go outwards, and at the beginning, you want to kind of bring it down. So after you go outwards, you can bring it down. And same thing with this one.
And then you can kind of go a little bit towards the middle of your cheek and just kind of bring it out like that. It feels really good. Because my cheeks are always feeling really tense. So when I go like this, it feels so good for me. Like it feels really good. I just kind of go like that. Now you want to go upwards. So now you want to kind of go upwards like it's a facelift. So you kind of take those fingers. <laughs> I'm sure I look crazy right now. I'm going to take these fingers and just kind of push it up to the forehead. It feels really good. And then you can kind of even leave it right here if you want. So I've watched like a lot of videos on how to massage your face and honestly everyone's different. You can just find the technique that really applies to you and your needs. So for me again like I said I get a lot of tension in my cheeks so I like to just massage it out. So I like to kind of go like this. It's just relaxing you know. It's just so relaxing. You kind of want to bring it up. Whenever I go get a massage, I notice they um, like to utilize the pressure points. So I get headaches, not super often, but um, here and there. So I like to always apply pressure on my temples because that's typically where um, I get a lot of tension build up. So I like to just go in circles and then I kind of bring it up. It feels so good. And same thing, you can do this as many times as you want, really. And then... <sighs> feels so good. And with your eyebrows, don't forget your eyebrows. I overplucked this one, so I'm really sad about it. I need to leave my eyebrows alone. But you can actually go ahead and bring your eyebrows up like this and just apply some pressure and just kind of leave it like that for a little bit. <sighs> feels so good you guys. So you just gotta go like that. So I know some people use like the facial rollers or like um, the other stones like rose quartz or like jade. So again, everyone's different. We can just do whatever works for you. There's no like really right or wrong way to do this. And I just kind of go upwards, out, upwards, out. And with your neck, you don't want to forget your collarbones. So you want to kind of go here too. And my neck, I tend to sleep wrong. I'm kind of a crazy sleeper. So my neck always feels stiff. So I like to just kind of do this side of it. Like I turn my head and then I kind of just let my fingers glide down. And it feels really, really good feels so good. And then you want to do the same thing here. And it feels really, really good. So again, I turn my head this way and then I just kind of let my fingers glide down the side of my neck. You just want to get that muscle there. And again, you don't want to go too rough, but you want just enough pressure. You want it to be firm. It feels really, really good. And then with the other parts of the neck, you want to bring it upwards. Basically it you guys. 
So that's how I like to massage my face. Again, everyone's different. Um, there's no real right or wrong way to do it. Uh, just do whatever feels good for you because you know your pain points better than anyone else. Hope everyone is staying safe. Just always remember to take a breather, relax, chill out a little bit um, before life kind of throws you around. But thank you again, everybody. I hope that you guys enjoy this video. I hope that it was useful. I highly recommend it to anybody. Um, it's just a really great way to kind of get in tune with yourself after a really long day or week. Stay tuned. I post every single Monday. Hey.